It's described as a narco state, where drug profits rule everything, where excess is now the norm. So how did Mexico turn into this? A place where government and civil society appear powerless against drug money, cartels, corruption and terrible violence committed on an almost daily basis. Mexico City, indeed the country, is in part staggeringly beautiful and at the same time awful. Affluence, poverty, ignorance, crime and charity rub shoulders. This country bordering the United States and South America has become a transit point for drugs across the world. The revenues are mind-blowing, billions of dollars every year. The demand for what it can deliver to affluent societies is insatiable. It is the root of the problem, of course, and widespread poverty combined with the need to make a living, the rotting foundations of a state teetering on the edge of disaster. Mexico is in trouble. It is failing. A black market culture where anything can be bought is all pervading. Nobody is above this. Absolutely nobody. At the core of the smartest district in Mexico City is Tepito Market, the center of criminal activity. A trading point for guns, drugs and every variant of goods. If you shop in this market, one of the most dangerous places in the city, you know you're buying goods of debatable legitimacy and contributing to an all-pervading lawlessness that seems like normal. And it does seem normal, except an outsider like me cannot walk around without protection and you couldn't meet the people who live on the boundaries of normal society. A shadowy life of crime and killing working to an illicit market that pays better than anything in ordinary life. Here the crime bosses run shops, a front for a whole life, lived in the shadows and sometimes the dance floor. This district worships the cartels who are destroying Mexico, shrines and murals to their memory. In the hood, they are kings and queens. A short distance away is the Church of the Dead. A strange mix of Catholicism and voodoo. They pray for future success and support from the fallen. They don't ask for salvation here. They ask for help to survive. Their offerings are alcohol and drugs. It's part of this culture. In a secret location, I was introduced to perhaps the baddest of the bad. A gun for hire. 